an impulse on a stone. A 2 kg stone is sliding to the right on a frictionless horizontal surface at 5 meters per second when it is suddenly struck by an object that exerts a large horizontal force on it for a short period of time. The graph in figure shows the magnitude of this force as a function of time. As you can see, the force is 2.5 kN uh, that's applied in between 15 and 16 milliseconds. Part A. What impulse does this force exert on the stone? Part B. Just after the force stops acting, find the magnitude and direction of the stone's velocity if the force acts uh, either to the right or to the left. Okay. So, um, we have a 2 kilogram mass with an initial velocity 5 meters per second in the i-hat direction. There is a force applied which is time dependent. It is 0 newtons for t less than 15 milliseconds and for t greater than 16 milliseconds and it is 2500 newtons between 15 milliseconds and 16 milliseconds so part A is asking us to calculate the impulse the impulse is a vector, it's integral f dt in the time interval the force is applied and it, it will be equal to force times delta t for a constant force. And if I substitute for the force 2500 Newtons in I hat direction multiplied with 16 minus 15 milliseconds. This is in I hat direction. So I find that the impulse is 2.5 Newton seconds if the force acts to the right. and it will be equal to uh, 2.5 uh, newton seconds in minus i hat direction so this is in plus i hat direction and it's in minus i hat direction if the force acts to the left Okay, uh, part B. Now we have the important impulse momentum theorem, impulse linear momentum. The impulse applied on the object is equal to change in its linear momentum. So this is impulse momentum theorem. And so let's work with the first scenario. The force F acts to the right. In that case, our impulse is 2.5 Newton seconds in I hat direction. This will be equal to the change in the linear momentum MV final minus MV initial. This is mv final minus, uh, so, or in m parentheses, we can write this as mv final minus 5 i hat, because the initial velocity was 5 i hat meters in meters per second. So we see that the final velocity can be written as, if I take this, 5 m i hat to the left hand side, I will obtain 
2.5 plus 5m divided by the mass m in i hat direction uh, that will be 2.5 over 2 plus 5 in i hat direction so the final answer is 6.25 meters per second in i hat direction and the second scenario the force f acts to the left so that's in minus i hat direction then my answer from part a for the impulse was minus 2.5 i hat this is equal to m v final minus 5 i hat so i can calculate v final to be 5 m if i take this 5 m to the left hand side minus 2.5 divided by m i hat so this will be 5 minus 2.5 over 2 i hat which is 3.75 meters per second i hat so it will still be a positive velocity but a smaller magnitude okay to summarize we're talking about an impulse that is applied in between 15 and 16 milliseconds on a stone the force is 2500 newtons the, the stone has an initial velocity 5 meters per second to the right so it's in plus i hat direction uh, so first we want to know the impulse on this stone uh, if it is acting to the left or to the right and just after the force stops acting we want to know magnitude and direction of the stone's velocity so the impulse is integral f dt uh, for a constant force this becomes f times delta t uh, the, the constant force is 2500 newtons delta t is one milliseconds so that gives us 2.5 i hat or 2.5 minus i hat depending on if f is acting to the right or to the left impulse momentum theorem tells us that the impulse that we apply is equal to the change in the uh, linear momentum so when the uh, force is turned off we can see the velocity right after uh, that point in time so the impulse is 2.5 i hat which is mv final minus mv initial if acting to the right or minus 2.5 i hat is mv final minus mv initial if it is acting to the left so we pull out the final velocity from these two equations by taking the 5 m i hat to the left hand side and substituting for m 2 kilograms.